So I want you to imagine something. Imagine for a second that you're able to tell your family that you legally protected their future. Think for a second, how would that make you feel? How would that make them feel? It would be incredible, wouldn't it? It'd be so amazing. Before we get to that point, however, we really need to understand why this legal stuff is so important for your business. And to do that, in this first training video, I'm gonna show you the three most important reasons to get this legal stuff in order, to get your legal ducks in a row, as, as some people call it. And trust me when I tell you, the answers are really gonna surprise you. Let's jump in. Um, I'm gonna actually hide my face and show the full screen so you guys can concentrate on the full slides if that's okay. So again, the three most important reasons to get your legal ducks in a row. Imagine telling your family that you legally protected their future. So if you're like me, and I bet you are, you started your own business for many reasons. Maybe it was to get away from the nine to five. Maybe it was to help your spouse and family out with additional income. Maybe it was to show your kids that you can do anything you put your mind to. Or maybe it was to have the flexible lifestyle and to live on your own terms. Or to show the world your creativity. Maybe it was to give back. And finally, you know, I know it's tough to admit, but maybe you're just doing it for yourself, which is okay. You know, if this is, if this sounds like you, then you're definitely in the right place in this training. All right, so let's jump into the training. The three most important reasons to worry about the legal stuff are number one, value, number two, value, and number three, value. See, I told you that you'd be surprised. And I know what you're thinking. Evan, you said value for all three. Aren't they the same? No. So let me explain. I know it's, it's a little confusing, but let me explain. Value can be in the form of many different types of currency. In this case, I'm talking about value related to time, value related to money, and value related to goodwill. Let's start with number one, time. Did you know that human beings actually have 60,000 thoughts per day? That number blew my mind. And of those thoughts, 80% are negative or worrisome. That's 48,000 negative thoughts per day. And one of the reasons is because as human beings, we're naturally protective. Our brains are literally wired to keep us safe. The majority of those worrisome thoughts are about our families, our friends, our businesses, and ourselves. So just imagine being able to take a big portion of those negative thoughts away by knowing you, your family, and your business are legally protected. Imagine how much time you could get back in your day even if it's just 30 minutes per day. What would that mean for your business? What would that mean for your family? How much could you get done in your business in that time? Our brains are also wired with this so-called fight or flight response, which is this automatic human reaction that forces us to either flee or fight in events which we perceive as stressful or frightening. I see this day in and day out with my clients. There are two types of sellers I see, those that worry flee or fight ahead of time, or those that worry, flee or fight after the fact. The first, these are the what I call the roll, uh, roll the dice sellers, as I call them. Those are the ones who jump right in without a plan or framework, they just start selling. These sellers will most certainly need to fight because they will go, they've gone too far to turn back uh, when something goes wrong. I actually just got this email the other day. It says, hey man, we just put out a lead magnet with case studies. I didn't really consider if legally we could do that, duh. That's an example of a roll the dice seller. Another example is a client of my uh, client I have. His, his name's Mike. Uh, Mike, who now has a nine-figure-a-year e-commerce business, didn't start off on the right foot. He chose a brand name without knowing that it was already taken. Six months into his business, he received a cease and desist. Knowing how important his brand name was to him and his company, he decided to fight the cease and desist. And after years of battling with the other party, he was actually able to reach a deal allowing him to use that brand name. That cost a ton of time and money, but he knew he had to fight. The other types of sellers um, are those that are too worried and paralyzed to move forward from the start and at each step unless they know that they are legally protected. An example of this is my client, Susan. Before Susan was my client, I knew her from one of the Facebook groups I was in. I remember she mentioned a really creative memory photograph idea to me. Um, it was just this very creative photography business she was uh, trying to start. I reached out to her six months later to see how her business was going, and shockingly, she hadn't started. She was too worried to move forward. That crushed me because I knew how amazing her product idea was and how it could change the lives of so many. Um, so the first, that was um, 
that was time. The second one is uh, the second value driven benefit is money, which of course is one of the main reasons you started your business. Having all the legal protections in place will make you more money in two ways. First, it will give you the leverage in negotiating agreements. And second, it will save you money in avoiding disputes. First, having your legal in order just makes you look like a real business to your vendors, your suppliers, your customers, your competitors. You are perceived as having a real business and not just a hobby. It gives you leverage in negotiating better deals and prices for your relationships, which I'll go over in detail in the next training video. Second, you're gonna save money. Um, I remember this story, it was a Friday night. Um, we were sitting down, it was it was family dinner. We always do family dinner on Friday night um, and the phone rang. Well, we do family dinner every night, but, but specifically we do pizza on uh, Friday. So I let it go, not thinking too much about it. It rang three more times, the same number. Concerned, I answered. It was a potential e-commerce client, Judy. She was hysterically crying in a, in a panic. She said, Evan, I think I messed up. I'm in serious trouble. I said, Judy, tell me what happened. I got a letter from a lawyer in the mail today. It says something like, I don't have the right to use my brand name. I need to stop selling immediately and pay his client $300,000 in damages. I said, is this true? Do you have the rights to your brand name? She said, I don't, I don't know. Well, did you do a search before using it? No. Okay. Is your LLC in good standing and active? Well, I don't have an LLC. I didn't have the money and wanted to start selling immediately. So I just sell under my own individual name. I paused and told Judy to take a breath and let her know that I knew what we needed to do. And I called her in, in, uh, in the morning. Unfortunately, Judy's not alone. 53% of small businesses are involved in some type of dispute or lawsuit. That's over half of all small businesses. The more shocking stat is that of those businesses, they will pay $10,000 to $100,000 in legal fees and costs per year. What? Think about what that could mean for your business. Could you survive those costs? Probably not, I don't think I could. Fortunately for Judy, we were able to settle and get her set up properly and on the right course. But if Judy would have had the proper legal protections in place from the start, she would have saved a ton of money and time. So don't be like Judy 1.0 as I call her, be Judy 2.0. All right, let's talk about the third value benefit, goodwill. Having the necessary legal protections and structures in place increases the value of your goodwill and ultimately leads to a higher valuation of what your business is worth. Think about the whys, why you started this journey. You wanna build a long-term successful business and ultimately sell it one day or pass it to your kids. You wanna maximize the value of each and every component of your business in order to get what you have and what you've always dreamed of. One of the intangible components of your business is its goodwill. This includes its reputation, its relationship with customers and standing in the industry, as well as its relationship with employees and independent contractors. These are all essential parts of what makes a business successful, but are not things that you could see on the list of company assets. Some people say that goodwill is the synergy behind your company that makes it successful. Goodwill is mostly driven by having your legal structure in place throughout the life of your business, adding a ton of value to live the life that you ultimately wanted to live. So to recap, three reasons to get the legal structures in place, value measured in time, value measured in money, and value measured in goodwill. But I know what you're still thinking. Evan, I'm just starting out or I only have a small business. Are you sure I need to worry about the legal stuff? The answer is yes. Remember Mike and Judy? Think about how much time and money were spent because they thought they didn't need to worry. I have small business and e-commerce clients that have been sued by Crate and Barrel and actually K Jewelers. Here's an actual letter I received from Gert and Barrel. I have clients that are sued because their websites are not ADA compliant. I have clients that are sued by customers for personal injury caused by things like candle fires. And the list goes on and on and on. Every business decision you make will have legal consequences, good or bad. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. There are trustworthy solutions. It's not too expensive and actually too costly not to do anything. So now you know why this legal stuff is so important for you. In my next video, I'll cover the four must-have legal foundations you need in order to avoid being included in the 53% of small businesses suit. Keep an eye out in your inbox for the release of this next training in a few days. Also, please leave a comment down below if you're watching live or in the Facebook group or shoot me an email with questions or aha moments. Thanks for spending your time with me. I know it's valuable.